are digging the change. What a sick fish. Welcome back everybody to the channel. You guys are watching Cast and Conquer. I'm Andrew Walker and we are out on the beautiful Bay Quinty again chasing giant walleyes. It's been a slow couple days. We have got a couple really big fish the last few days. Steve got a giant two days ago, 10 and a quarter pounds, 28 inch. I'll show a little clip of that release right now. Big girl, going back for Stevie boy. Going back in the water. Heck yeah. She gave me two shots. First one on the jigging wrap, got her, came off, and then she saw the spoon. Look at that fish, look at that belly, man. Beauty, stiff. There she goes. The big fish have been present the last two days and we're marking all kinds of fish in this spot, but they have been very negative. Not wanting to chase, not wanting to commit, but today we have a little bit of a pressure change. We had a big storm go through, freezing rain and rain last night. So I'm hoping all these changes wrapped up into one are gonna make these fish firing on all cylinders. So we're gonna be starting today with a big number nine jigging wrap in perch on the deadbolt with the frostbite diesel 1000 reel frostbite 12 pound braid and then we're going with a slap shot same thing diesel 1000 frostbite braid with the big scissor kick we're going to tip that guy with a small full minnow and a minnow head and then on the jigging wrap just a small minnow and we're going to see if we can get an absolute tanker today so stick with us should be a great day on the beautiful bay quinty got one Yes, sir. We got one. Oh, the hook almost got me in the eyeball. Hook it's right there. Well, we weren't getting any bites on the jigging wrap. Made a switch to a buckshot. Oh my goodness. Nice little, maybe two pounder. Beauty little fish. I missed a fish before that, a little bit bigger. Been seeing a good amount of fish and uh, they just weren't cooperating. A little bit more aggressive than yesterday, but I made that switch and both of those fish seem to want to cooperate. And I heard a guy next to me catch two as well, so they seem to be a little bit more on today. Let's get back to it. Calm down. Two, one from each way, one's coming hot. This one's gonna eat it. Oh, the other it's one. Hot. Yeah, the other one's so big though. The other one's a giant. Oh, they're actually both pretty big. They're actually both pretty big. Come on, baby, eat my minnow. He's gonna Did eat it. Go yeah. He's right under it, he's straight, he's vertical. Oh, he didn't do it, it's a good one too. It's a good one, it's more than a square. Well, we're packing, bro. Okay, sounds good, man. Okay, see you soon. Yeah, ciao. Ciao, ciao. They are digging the change. That new color, it's like a pink and chartreuse. We got a beauty, maybe three and a half, four pounder right there. Absolute stud of a fish. I just tried tapping it a little bit harder on the spot. We got him. Haven't kept fishing a couple days, so that's number two of the day. Going with his buddy. Gonna get minnows back on here. They're eating full minnows today. Big one, 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 big one. Come on. Come on, don't do that. No. Come on back, please turn around. Just come back. That's a nicer fish. That's a nicer fish. Come on, do it. Come on, it's coming back again. It's coming back again. Do it. 
do it. Meow. Try the chicken up. Okay guys, while the fishing is slow, I want to take a quick second to talk about this big orange bad boy right here. I've been using the hog heater, the 18,000 BTU for the last two months and I use it generally in the 650XD and the 850XD from Eskimo with the 850 being the biggest tent out there, the most square footage inside. And I can say on those cold cold days, minus 20, I have a 5 pound propane bottle with me. I throw those two panels on high and I have no problem having both corners of that tent warm and it keeps the heat really well so then you just put it down on low a little bit maintain that heat and we have been comfortable all winter long I'm excited to be able to try the smaller one in my smaller Eskimo but I really like a lot of the features on this including the electric start easy to use easy to bleed the line and uh, keeps you warm all day long so without further ado we're gonna get back to fishing and I can see some big boys coming soon Begin the change. We just made a move. Like I ha didn't even start jigging and there's already a fish on me. Came a little bit deeper, two feet deeper. Oh my god, that's a giant. You gonna eat it? So, as you guys heard in that last clip with that big fish, we made a move. It had been like 45 minutes, I hadn't seen fish. My client on the inside of me hadn't seen very many fish either. Ashley had caught a couple fish and she'd still been seeing fish. So she was about two feet deeper than me, so I went on the far side of her. We are in 27 now, 27, 28.8. We got fish coming in right now. Big one. We got a big one coming in right now. This looks really good. This, this looks really good. Come on. Ooh, we didn't like that big bounce. But yeah, like I was saying, that's two big fish now that have come in since I moved. Three feet deeper. I think it's going to be the trick. Catch a lot of my big fish midday after 11 o'clock out in this like 29 to 32 feet of water. We're going to see. We got big jigging wraps down. We got a buckshot tied on. We got a scissor kick tied on. We're going to make it happen. A little chocolate milk. Chocolate milk action. Big one, big one, big one. You got a big one. This is better fish for sure. Come on. Get some pizza? Yeah, okay. Hey. Jigging wrap. Jigging wrap. The biggest one size. We got a beauty walleye. Haven't done a measurement yet. Just came in on bottom. Had just made the move. Seen three big fish like this. Probably around an eight pounder. Really nice head on it. What a sick fish. 
get a quick measurement. 27. 27 incher. That is sick. Probably around eight pounds. Crushed for digging. He's so blind in that eye. Oh yeah. That's probably why he ate it. I only, I only catch the blind ones. Beautiful, nicely done. 27 incher. Really Whoa. nice fish. Go that way. Lively. Bye. Whoa. Soaked me. <laughs> Let's go. That's Bye. so sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. Sick. I to see a fish like me too. Ashley just came over. We got a code word. We call each other. And we say, hey, do you want to come over for a slice of pizza? And that means we got big fish. So not everybody and their dog comes running over to this area. But that move definitely paid off. I had the buck shot down before and those two first big fish didn't want to commit. So I went to the biggest size jigging wrap, number nine. It doesn't have a minnow head on that treble right now, but I usually tip it just with the head. When you're tapping it on the spot, raising it, gets that whole jigging wrap kicking as you're raising. And that minnow head underneath is just dancing back and forth. And that's what they're keyed in on. That, that fish was all pinned on the shovel hook underneath and I was so worried he was going to come off at the hole because I could see he just had one hook but he was hard on hook and he stayed pinned and I'm glad we got a big one. It's been a couple days it's been hard fishing and now finally they're back on and they're eating. So pumped. Gonna get a minnow head. Gonna get back in there. I'll show you guys a little trick that I like to do because you lose a lot of minnows when you're jigging especially when you're jigging in Quinty because you're jigging pretty aggressively sometimes three foot jigs. So what I like to do is I take my treble hook there and my minnow and I put it right through the center of the bottom of the head and then I put my fingertip where it's going to come out and I feel for the hook and I just don't bust it through because it makes too big of a hole and then I kind of just slowly push it on like that and then the hole's just not too big, the barb will still stop it and I pinch the body off. You just got that little chunk of meat on there. And that is great. Hope I didn't just touch my line on the heater. I don't think I did. I'm gonna get it back down there. We are gonna get another one. It's, good. it's the day today. Today and tomorrow I think are gonna be really good. Uh, can I get some pizza? Yeah, I'm on my way. Okay. What a sick fish. <laughs> we catch the blind one. Let's go, that's so sweet. Got one? I'm coming. I'll get him once you turn him. That's a nice one, bud. If you can just get his head in the hole. You got him hooked really good. <clears throat> what do you got on? Like you know? eight on this. Okay, you should be good. It's just rubbing on the ice a lot, but it should be smooth. Oh, holy f I can't believe you got it. What a save. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh. Way to go, man. <laughs> I can't believe you got it. She's ready to go. What a beauty. Yes. <laughs> nice. Waited all day for that guy. <laughs> On the uh, jig and wrap. Yeah, I saw when it hooked the hole, I was like, oh no. <laughs> she had the back hook, so the hook, front hook was free. And when she finally got up to the ice and her head turned in, that front hook grabbed. Oh. And I was like, she's going to come off <laughs> because I've lost a lot like that. I just committed full both arms oh underneath my her. Oh god, I can't believe you <laughs> got that. Scooped her. <laughs> Sick. Way yes. to go, buddy. Way to go. <laughs> Big one, big one, big one, big one. 
That's a good one. That's a good one. He's gonna eat it. Oh, I lost him. 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 He's gonna come back and eat again. I lost him. Lost that big fish a little while ago. Seen a lot of big fish in the last little while. It's hard to get them to go, but that one came in crazy hot. It seems like they come in hot and then they slow down, but that one wanted it and I lost him halfway up. So we're energizing, getting some caffeine in us because it's day seven right now and the afternoons are hard to stay awake and look at the screen, but I'm doing it. Doing it for the fish, doing it for you guys. The grind is real. We got maybe, I don't know, two hours and 10 minutes left. One of the best sections of the day. I love the evening bite. Don't like it as much as the morning bite or the late morning bite or that early afternoon bite, but mid afternoon seems to be slow and then the evening bite seems to be okay. So it's probably my fourth favorite bite in the day. We're still here. We're still jigging them. They're still here. They're still chasing. Soon enough, it's going to be that time where they're going to be eating. Big walleye. Come on, this is a big fish. It's a big, 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 big fish. It's a big, 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 big fish. Oh yeah, he's charged up. He's charged up. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Is there two? I think there's two. One was huge. Oh, 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 another one. Another one, another one. Three of them there. A little school. A little school three. Not aggressive to the jigging wrap right now though. I'm gonna try a spoon again. <clears throat> Takes the right fish to eat that big jigging wrap. Anybody remember that game? Anyways, <clears throat> that was a great day. A couple really big fish caught, a couple nine pounders, a couple big fish lost. My buddy lost some big fish. I lost a big fish, but the big fish are starting to eat. And that is the key. Full moon is actually tomorrow. I thought it was today. So I think we should have another day of these fish being absolutely fired up. And we're going to be back out here bright and early tomorrow. So thanks for joining this week's video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, go down below, subscribe. Helps me out in a big way. Begin the change.